this is Mike Peluso. I'm with Team One, and I was responsible for suggest tasks for procuring the cluster hardware. Initially, we were supposed to put a project plan together as part of the larger group. So the first thing I did was put together a procurement section of a master project plan. That section included an RFI and an RFQ, because one of the ways to get information and expert knowledge is to go reach out to vendors and get that information, RFI being request for information, RFQ being request for quote. Uh, that We have not moved in that direction. We're not going to be putting together a master plan. So although we're not going to include that, I have put that up on the wiki for people to see. I've also gone through and did research because you need expert knowledge as part of what you're doing. And that is part of the project, the Team 1 Task 2 report, or at least my part that I've put together. That part includes information on the types of hardware we need. The quad-core processor wasn't an issue. What was an issue and required some uh, a lot of research was determining what type of GPU nodes we would use within the cluster because that wasn't specified. Uh, after a tremendous amount of research, I determined that the best way to move forward was the Tesla GPU by NVIDIA, uh, and my report uh, reflects as much. So please see the written report to see that detailed information, and please reference the RFI RFQ section of the project management plan as we would uh, put everything together to try and get more information from vendors on putting the cluster together if we were project managers in the project management plan. consisted of uh, the designing the number of nodes, systems management configuration, storage device uh, configuration, system integration, interconnect configuration, purchasing of the middleware, purchasing of the parallel application, rack assembly, and, and cable purchases, node purchases, ethernet assembly, infinite band structure, purchase of HVAC upgrade of the electrical unit, and the procurement of the GPU model, which we commissioned instead of the model that was previously in there. All of this will be in our reports. Our document testing and uh, control system, uh, testing of all equipment and control sequences were done. Measured equipment energy on site, provide appropriate budget and scheduling, scheduling to commissioning, perform full operation testing of all equipment. This equipment and the data center purchase was for a pharmaceutical company that was just getting ready to do an IPO. So we engaged the top project team members for this project. Plus in addition to that, we did the commissioning, plus we had to retrofit the existing environment because they weren't moving at the time. <laughs> Hi, my name is Walter Roberson. I'm the project manager in charge of administering contracts. When administering a contract, the contract administrator should be familiar with the terms and conditions of that contract. Depending on the company or business, the terms and conditions of that contract can vary. Also, if an order is purchased from a specific company or business, the terms and conditions of that contract automatically apply. There are special cases in which a vendor will approve a customized contract based on modifications that had already been discussed. After a contract is executed or signed by both parties and an order has been placed by the vendor, the contract is considered administered. The responsibility generally lies on the vendor to inspect, receive, and accept a good while also making sure the invo invoice is paid.
Hello guys, um, my name is Jermaine Sinclair and I'm part of Team One and this is the report for Task Two on Project Closing. Project Closing is the process in which um, projects are brought to an end and with the Aggie PMI we will finalize all activities across all of the management process groups to formally complete the Beowulf project and bring the project to an end successfully. Project Closing ensures that the loose ends are addressed and provides a way for the Ag and PMI team to document and share lessons learned throughout the Beowulf project. This part of the project is important as it encaptures, captures and ensures all documentation is collected and archived in the event of termination of a project or just to simply build and improve on the process of um, project management. Um, the process pretty much includes obtaining a formal acceptance of all deliverables from Teams 1, Teams 2, Teams 3, Team 4, and Team 5. We will compare the final project results to the project objectives that were presented at the beginning of the project. We will conduct lessons learned sessions in which we will document results and distribute to the project team, project management team that is. We will also release project resources um, such as assets acquired, contracts, equipment, etc. Um, we will organize and archive all project documentation for future reference and we will close out all contracts and procurements. And at the end, finally, we'll acknowledge the teams and celebrate success of finally completing the Beowulf project.